Today we're going to do a basic comparison between the Jules Hub Plus and the Upper Baby Cruise V2, which we've received several requests to compare, due to their relatively similar features and dimensions. We're big fans of both of these models, and though there are important differences, in particular with regards to which lifestyle factors you should consider when choosing between them, both are constructed in a very robust manner, and for this reason, I won't be going into chassis structure and longevity today. They're both simply built to last, and if you'd like to know about these aspects, you should check out our standalone reviews for each model. So let's get started then, with the Hub Plus, where I'd first like to point out that despite using some footage of the nearly identical original Hub in this video, all of the information relates to the current Hub Plus model. The Hub Plus clocks in at 11 kilos and folds down to 31 by 53 by 63 centimeters with the seat attached, which is sufficiently compact, the result of the seat's ability to fold as well, to be carried by the model's shoulder strap when needed, though it is still a bit too heavy to do this for long distances. As far as child comfort is concerned, the Hub Plus's seat has a near-full lie-flat position and is newborn compatible by using either a bassinet or a padded cocoon, but is unfortunately a bit on the small side, and as such, will really only be ideal for use for children younger than two and a half or three. When it comes to real-world use, and which lifestyles the Hub Plus will be best suited for, the model is primarily for urban conditions, where its smaller size excels at navigating crowded spaces and taking up less storage room while still providing the full-size comforts of a reversible seat and the sturdiness and terrain capability needed to hold up to regular all-day use while tackling occasional gravel, broken sidewalks, and city parks. The model's large rear wheels and decent suspension help a lot here, while its front wheels at 6.3 inches will be the chief limiting factor determining where you can drive, and while the Hub Plus is perfectly capable of handling the conditions I described, it will still struggle to deal with nature trails or really rough cobblestones. Storage-wise, the Hub Plus's shopping basket is pretty limited, capable of fitting a bit of necessary baby gear, but not designed to handle a full picnic load or a ton of shopping, a situation that should not be hacked by hanging heavy bags from the handle. Lastly, while the Hub Plus can work as a keep-in-the-trunk model, in my experience, for most heavily car-based lifestyles such as in suburban America, you can usually get away with something a bit lighter and smaller, and where this model fits perfectly instead, where you'll get the most out of its capabilities, is in big cities with a lot of stairs and public transport and the like, in particular in colder parts of the world where you'll need to deal with a bit of snow. Moving on, the Cruise V2 weighs in at 11.5 kilos and folds down to 42 by 58 by 84 centimeters with the seat attached, which is only a tad heavier than the Hub Plus, but significantly larger, being more of a mid-sized model in this respect, and which is a fine size for fitting in the trunk, but not for carrying around. When it comes to child comfort, the Cruise V2 has a bucket seat with an adjustable leg rest that is larger than the seat on the Hub Plus, extending ideal use by up to a year or so. As a bucket seat, the Cruise V2 doesn't offer a full lie-flat position, but, like the Hub Plus, the model is also pairable with an infant insert or a bassinet for use with newborns. When it comes to parent comfort and ideal lifestyle, the Cruise V2's 7-inch front wheels and incredible suspension struts, one of the best suspension setups on the market, definitely give it an edge over the Hub Plus for terrain capability, though it will still be best to think of the model as meant mainly for around town driving, and if you're headed off-road, it should be to relatively well-maintained trails and dirt roads. The Cruise V2 also has significantly more storage capacity than the Hub Plus. In fact, it has a bigger basket than the majority of mid-sized models out there. And, combined with its increased seat size and terrain capability, the Cruise V2 is simply a much better all-round model than the Hub Plus, ideal for people who will need their stroller for more than just short trips, while still not being so large or heavy as to be difficult to fit in the trunk or carry up the stairs when needed. And if you're trying to decide between these two models then, I would say that the Cruise V2 is the more versatile choice, and the one I would recommend for most people unless you have special need of a small folding model, such as you drive a very small car or have severely limited storage space, you know that you need a stroller that is easier to carry on a regular basis while moving through the world, or you have special reasons for needing the Hub Plus's more adjustable seat recline. In any case, we hope you found this video useful, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about either of these models, we have standalone reviews for both of them, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.